Okay, my name is Adam Carter Raymeyer. Uh, I'm the director of Dinner in America. Dinner in America is a renegade love story about two misfits who find each other and themselves through music. There you go. See, funny. <laughs> and you're from uh, the Midwest? I'm from the Midwest. I grew up in Nebraska and uh, I spent some time in Chicago and uh, the, the better part of my life I spent in Los Angeles. The movie's great. I'll get to that in a second. I At the end, I remember you saying, um, talking about your three kids and I have three mm -hmm. sons. So it oh, really sweet, was like, sweet. all right, I get it. Cause TV and film is rough with kids. Yeah. If oh, you yeah. want to always be there. Oh yeah. I mean, the divorce rate's pretty fucking high. Let's yes. Yeah. And, um, yes. So I kind of want to ask you about your fit, the, how you manage the family <clears throat> time being your director, right? Producer, editor, all the, yeah. all the good stuff. Yeah. Do you find yourself able to manage all this I without mean, too much pressure? I'm, it's my wife, you know, she yeah. like allows for it. She has a background in production, mm -hmm. so she's forgiving with a lot of this. So if you don't have a spouse that really understands the industry, you're dead in the water. And my kids are seven, five, and three. So eight, five, and two. Yeah, it's bonkers ballisto, you know, it's completely bonkers. And on the flip side of that, not flip side, but do they influence kind of how you work in terms of creatively, if you're thinking about your, your film, do you think about your legacy of your films now that your kids will eventually see them? I mean, Dinner in America took so long to make that that I had three kids in the process of making the film. So, it, you know, they, like they weren't. It wasn't like that wasn't even in the in the you know I even ever thought about that. Um, but they're all my boys are all interested um, in cinema, like. They can thread a projector. Like we got a 16 millimeter projector, so they all know how to thread. They help me cut trailer reels and stuff. So they're like a little edit station in the basement with some rewinds and a splicer and stuff, some press tape. So um, they're learning how to edit now, like, you know, very, very, you know, basic on film. So that's cool. The film itself at the end, when you were speaking, you talked about how it was two separate, kind of, mm -hmm. not totally separate, but you melded them together. And in the beginning of the film, I remember that. I was kind of like, you know, this is, I like the stories that are on parallel tracks. And then all of a sudden it was like, all right, here we go. How did you kind of say, oh, these make sense together? Well, I love, yeah, I love, so first I wrote, I was writing this thing called Kicks and it had the Simon character and it was like doing the clinical trials thing. He comes home with the girl like a lot of times when I write, I'll write something that I'll write like the first 10 pages of something. I'll have an idea and I'll just freeform it. And it might take me, I think kicks what I, what I was doing on that took like an hour or less, maybe 10 pages of stuff. But if I get distracted or something breaks the flow, it's like, there's nothing there then you just, you're like, where, where's this going to go? Wait, what was I going to do here? And so we just, we've, we've done basically a 10 minute movie about, Simon, the 10 minute movie about Patty and then just throwing them together. And we've got what, an hour and 20 minutes, you know, of them now together doing this thing. And so yeah. we're, are you the only editor yeah, and yeah. no assistance or you did? No, no assistance. Man. Everything, everything front to back. Man, so, man. Yeah. so I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just, okay. I, I, I'm all about front to back, you know? Yeah, like I, apparently. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I was, I was, I was talking to a colleague about yeah. uh, just hearing from editors that like, I don't know, I was, an editor was talking about how nervous he was about showing the director the mm -hmm. cut of the film for the first time. And I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, you mean like the director hasn't seen the film? Bit of that? Like, oh no, yeah, it's nerve wracking. I'm like, wow, I can never work that way. That'd be terrifying for mm -hmm. me. Like I, I need that type of like, you know, to work that way, mm -hmm. like especially in post. So I don't know, I, I will see. I. I I would love to work with an editor and there's somebody I have in mind that um, he and I go way back and I think it would be a great, you know, relationship, mm -hmm. but we'll just have to see. I don't know. I've never, I've never done it. So I don't know. Take a little relief off, but I mean, that's it a tough, stressful, symbiotic it's stressful. Like editing is really, really stressful. I mean, it really is. There's the film that you write, the film that you shoot, the film that you edit. They're all three different movies. Mm -hmm. Like you never, what you get in the can is never what you had in your head ever. It's never, unless you have the control that you can just take, you know, 18 months to shoot something, you know, and will it to be Barry Lyndon. And so when you're in premiere, we'll kind of go a little technical. Yeah. Um, do you use other programs? So you're, no, but I appreciate that. I, I pre appreciate all of, 
all of them, but I don't, I'm like really simple. Sure. Like, and I don't, I don't even use shortcuts and stuff really. Like I don't have like one of the fancy keyboards or anything. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I pretty like limited, like if I don't know how to do something or I'm like thinking like, fuck, wouldn't it be easier to do this? I like look online for like a tutorial about it. And I just like learned like, Oh wow, that's a time saver. Like I've been doing this shit wrong, but, uh, you know, it's, my films are about straight cuts and not a lot of visual effects. And like, it's just, it's about creating a rhythm and timing and premieres the right tool for me. It just, it's more intuitive than other things that, uh, I've used before. So, um, I, I love it, especially that, that night mode <laughs> interface, like, like to, to just shift it like mm. that, like, uh, was really cool. Like That's like the I, first thing I, I'm like, like, I have to do. FC7 for, for like up, up until I switched over. I started with Premiere 5.0, oh, yeah. like a long time ago. Oh yeah. Like a long Me time too. ago. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And my <clears throat> first kind of experimental things I was doing, you know, like 20 years ago, like that's what I used. So then I noticed at the end, you, I saw the credits, of it, which I saw light iron in there. Mm -hmm. So when you were going from Premiere, from your own edit yeah. and you locked it, sent it off. Yeah. Did, were you the one responsible for no, turnover stuff? I did not do that. Oh, okay. It, it, for turnover, I brought in this dude, Olaf Steele, and Olaf was Olaf. a wizard. That's and right. Olaf came in and handled that shit like a pro. Like, he's the real deal. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just <laughs> like, you know, I'm not technical at all. Mm -hmm. I'm intuitive, and I know exactly what I want, and I can I can do basic editing. I mean, I edited the whole film. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, somebody like Olaf understands what... Uh, the wizards at light iron need for yeah. <laughs> deliverables and stuff. I have no fucking idea. I'm just like, I, I have no idea what this means. Here's this list of shit. I don't, I can't interpret it. So one of the best uh, color is one of my favorite parts of the process. Um, Ian's so fast and, and intuitive. Uh, I just, I had a blast like working with him. It was, it was so painless and uh, it looked amazing. Yeah. The look is, it's not like an over your head look, but it was like you said last night, the nineties kind of, yeah, it looks great. I mean, yeah. you can. I yeah. <laughs> really, really cool palette. I thought Fran Francesca, our, you know, production designer, she killed it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, JP, our DP, just amazing. Like, they, they worked really well together, the three of us. Like, it just, the, the stars aligned, I guess. Yeah, you know, they really project. did, because it looks good. So, did you go to a film school at all? Or I went to Columbia a... College, yeah. Okay, Columbia? Yep. And so... In Chicago. In Chicago, there you go. Yep, in Chicago, yeah. So I get asked a lot whether film school or college is correct for anybody. What would you tell someone? Would you say film school with YouTube 13 year olds teaching you After Effects is a good way to do it? hundred percent. Yeah. I would, I would advocate for not doing film school. I'd advocate for just doing your own thing, like apprenticing somehow with somebody. Like if, if you, if you are interested in it, somebody will take you under your wing. If you have some drive, you'll be able to, to do something. Uh, if, even if you have to just, you know, um, apprentice for a year for no money or two years or something like, yeah, I mean, it, I, I, Columbia for me was a great experience because I learned on film, you mm -hmm. know, Robert Bukar, my, my, my film teacher was amazing and we were shooting on film. I took sensitometry. I, you know, like I understand, you know, uh, uh, film and developing and all, all of it, you know, pushing and pulling and like, so uh, it was a bit more technical then, uh, mm -hmm. but all of that you could learn very easily by being a camera assistant and just, mm -hmm. you know, um, or, I mean, you know, uh, uh, a camera intern, you know, you could, you could very easily, um, come up that way if you, I mean, just by absorbing and there's so much information now, like online. I, I personally think it's a total waste of money, like to go to film school now. I just, if my kids want to do it, like they're just going to learn by osmosis. They're not going to, they're already like cutting on film. So mm -hmm. seven, five and three, not the three, like he's a disaster, but <laughs> the seven, the, sh the seven is showing some interest and, you know, he's dinking around, making some dovetail splices and I'm letting him use the press tapes and he can thread, um, he can thread the IP projector and like, you know, it's pulling off 2000 foot mags and like, you know, <laughs> run our the reels and run them back and forth, you know, um, they uh they they absolutely love uh, movie night in our basement. <laughs>